So hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play the Demo of Anki. Um, this is a little game that was sent to me and uh, it's a jump and run platformer that is, that's supposed to be very hard. And how hard exactly? Well, let's find out. This game was made by um, someone called uh, I Love Krupinski Art and well, that's pretty much it actually. Oh yeah, this game, as you can see, um, it's still in development, and what is missing right now are some of the the graphics and some of the um, well, the pretty much all the music. It has the sound effects for the gems and the emeralds and everything, but it's still missing the background music, which is going to be put in at a later point when development is further ahead. So basically, as you can already see, you collect all the gems and. The more gems you collect, the more color the stage will actually gather over time. Um, which is pretty cool, I guess. And as you can see, you die in one hit. Which I guess is the main point about the, um, the difficulty of the game. I also think the, um, the hitboxes are not completely... Um, on the spot, but they're good enough, I guess. As you can see, you can also jump on enemies and it will kill them. And this introduces blocks. Um, oh yeah, as, as you already know, you can um, wrap around to left and right, and you can also wrap around from top to bottom. Oh, this does not give me that jump. Oops. Yep, that was bad. There's also a button that um, suicides you, so you can restart the game. Uh, or not the game, but restart the stage. But I won't be using it right now because I want to beat the stage. Oops. It also seems that the stages restart if you um, hit the top of the screen, uh, like your, if your angel form does that. Can use some vertical screen ramping right there. Oh, we shouldn't use it there. There we go. Um, you can use these uh, jumping blades. There's actually two types of jump, which is W, up, and space. Uh, both jump, but only space activates these jumping pads. I get back over there, and now do the same for the other side after the blades have passed. There we go. And that's this level. So what do you have now? We have some more enemies. Oh, am I? I'm down here. This is locked, I guess. I need to find a key. Or something that unlocks it. There we go. Oh, it's unlocked. I guess the enemy up there kills me one shot as well. This gets me all the way up there and I almost die from that. Um, nope. I need to do that faster. So, because there's no sound right now, um, it feels a bit like a bit empty and stuff. With some of the animations are missing, but I guess as soon as they are in, it should be alright. I don't want to do that, I know. Like now, if I want to go over there, you need to use the other jump that doesn't activate the, 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 the plates. Also, I can use this one to get over here. Yep. Yeah. They also hit me and uh, kill me in one shot. As was to be expected. And if you see something that's hard, like the part over there, you can just do the hard part first and then be done with it. And I, and I, don't, I don't actually think that the, um, the hitboxes uh, are quite spot on. I think they're a bit to the side. But that's not too bad. There we go. I could have also done that by coming down, but I guess it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. There we go. Oh, these ones only work when you are off them. Okay. That's something interesting. Looks 
that. We're almost done. We only need some more over there, so we don't actually need to pass the blade twice. We'll need to pass it once if we do like that. Oops. And that's that. Okay, so I think so far these are the only enemies that we can actually defeat. Um, I don't think I think everything else will just um, destroy you. So let's do like that. Um, oh, we can jump over there. Nice. Like the little crunchy effects they do. Plus over here. It's really nice that p you, c you don't really think about pits as something that kills you, you think about pits as as a way to progress through the level because you can then wrap towards the top and progress like that. Also we need to go somewhere else, but oh yeah we can wrap through the other side here as well. There we go. I can't go like that. And over here, collect that. Oh man, I can't get that. Need to wrap around again. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> and okay, now we can pass through the bottom over there. Which means we can just do this and complete the stage over here. Okay. Okay, on to the next one. Um, do, do, do more enemies. I can immediately grab that key and do some more stuff over there. I don't actually know how many um, levels there are in the demo or how many there will be in the final game, but I guess you will get enough time out of this. Since levels do quite take some time, especially if you die, which shouldn't happen, of course. Okay, let's see what's left. This doesn't go very high, this one. Uh, okay, I can already see something, maybe? Okay, there we go. Don't die. Oh, this doesn't actually go that high. Okay, I know how to get one over there, and then the other one I just have to wing it, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Does this just reach up there? No, it doesn't actually do it. Um. I don't actually think I can reach it unless the other one goes higher. It doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna have to suicide. Okay, but I think uh, now, that, now that I know it is a problem, and uh, what I can just do is I can go over here and try and get this as like the first thing I get so it does not become a problem later on. And once again I can kill the guy here down here again to make sure he doesn't hurt me later, but I missed the hitbox. It's a bit like in Mario, where if you don't actually hit it quite on the top, um, it counts as you getting hit. And the problem, the thing about Mario is you don't die one hit, so it's not that bad most of the time. But here you do you die one hit, so it just, it's not that good if you miss it. Well, miss it again. It's weird. Unless I miss something. Let's just kill him right away. Wow. <laughs> that was reckless. Well, I'm getting worse every second. Um, I got a different idea. Let's go over here. There we go. That's a lot nicer. There we go. Oh, over here. Could probably not get that. No, sad face. I'll just go back up over here. Okay. And there's also recently, um, or just yesterday or something, there was. Oops. Those are the hit boxes of the blades. There's also just recently, uh, I guess today, released um, the intro for the game. Uh, not just really the intro movie, it's just uh, when you boot up the game, right now what you see is. You see a little warning about something, that's not really important, but after that, um, it just starts the game. And now he has, um, he has released. Um, a little movie that plays, or not a little movie, a little film that plays when you start the game. It basically um, intros the developer and the, the, mo and the game title like you often see in other games where 
where you have all the developer names flashing over the screen, like published by and stuff like that, developed by and all that stuff. And that was been released recently. You can check that all out on the YouTube of the developer, which I'm also going to be linking in the description, so you can check that out. Okay, that was a long level. I think I'm going to be doing one more, and then I'm going to call it there. That was a close one. These are different. These have a different color. Maybe I'm not able to kill those. I'm just gonna avoid them for now because I don't know if I can kill them or not. No, get up there. Ooh, well, that was close. I could go there another way too, but that was that was good. How to get over there? Okay, I see already. I just need to wait for this one to pass, jump down here, get over there, there we go. Okay, we already almost done with that one. I kind of want to continue actually, because this is quite, it's quite nice uh, being one to level C Oh, no, it's a sound effect. I know that sound effect. Oh, something over there. Oh yeah, there was an enemy over there, I didn't know. I almost didn't see him. This is, this is quite fun, like beating levels. Keep on going, like, ah, oh, I want to beat another one. And then you go, oh, I want to beat another one. That keeps on going. Is there a button I need to hit somewhere? It seems like it. Oh, I see. Um. Okay, this should work, I guess. Oh! Ah, uh, that was bad timing. I guess I want to hit this over here. There we go. I activated them. And now we can get the key over here and do the rest of the level. It's nice to see some more uh, different assets, but yeah, still lots of the graphics are still missing, but they're going to be implemented soon. I know that happened, but I want to avoid the shots. I need to come up with a different strat that evades the shots and also make sure I don't get hit by a saw blade. Maybe even uh, not get rid of the blocks up there, so I don't have to deal with the blocks that much. Because if I... Oh no, it's not actually the blocks. We're blocking them. Okay, so now I probably want to go to the other side and get the gems down there. But not jump into the next shot. The thing is, the shots are not that easy to see, so I don't even realize they're there most of the time. Okay, activate that. Go over here. And I'm just gonna continue my routine with going over here and collecting that. Okay, but this will this is def this is definitely gonna be the last level now, okay? That jump failed, I don't know how I survived that. Now we can do that, we can go down here and there's only a few ones left. Over here. And that should finish the last level level. Nice. Oh, I kinda wanna beat this level too. Okay, okay, this is the last level now. Let's see, this is the last level now. Oh, it introduced something new. That's pretty sweet. Oh, nice. Okay, that did that over there so I can get those over there. The shot's coming from there, so I should be more careful. The, the thing that shoots the shots can probably kill me as well, so I need to be careful about that as well. Not that fast enough. Nope. I could. I should probably get the gems down there first, and then see. Make and then make my way from there. Oh, it's already shooting. Nope. The hitboxes for the bullets are a bit too big, I think. Or maybe you could just make the the bullets bigger, so it reflects the hitbox better. That would also work. You can do it both ways. So okay, now that I have that, I, no, no, I don't have it. Um, okay, I think I know how to way how to get those down there, those gems, because I can probably use the wrap, wrap around. Maybe? Oh no, I probably can't. Um, could probably still use a different method. Um, okay, I think I might have an idea. Okay, first I get this. I duck beneath here. Oh, I send it backwards. 
Oh, I sent it backwards again. Come over here. There we go, now I'm back up here. And now that I'm back up here, I can probably fall down there and see if I can do that. Um, I need the platform to come. Okay. Um, I can't really see any sort of pattern in the shot, so I'm just gonna have to go down after he shot a bunch and then hope he doesn't shoot again. Also, the platform needs to be gone, of course. Okay, he doesn't shoot again. There we go, okay. Now I need to go to the other side and get the stuff that's over there. Oh, okay. Man, I kind of want to keep on going, too. But I'm just going to call it here for now. So, Anki looks pretty looks pretty good. Um, um, yeah, like I said earlier, missing the background music, but the lots of sound effects are already in there. That's pretty good. And the graphics look pretty good as well. It, it's got this... It's, what I like is it has its, it has its, its own sort of feeling. Um, it feels definitely like something... Um, Something unique, I guess. Um, and I see he's he's putting in a lot more um, elements every time. Like we have the switches, we have the keys, we have these uh, fields in. I guess there's also gonna be more elements later. We have more enemies now, M more ways that can kill you. And I guess it's gonna be getting uh, a lot more tougher from here on out. So I guess earlier I I, I kind of get this feeling like I wanna get I wanna I wanna do more because it, it feels pretty good actually to beat a level especially if you if you took some more time on it so if you really like um, f uh, games that are a bit harder you know you don't you don't beat them all at, at one go um, but they are they are quite um, they give you a good feeling when you beat them it's the same like Dark Souls or something maybe not quite on that level but still in the same vein sort of then you should definitely um, check out Anki I'm go probably gonna link, uh, link it a site somewhere down there in the description so you can check that out. I'm also gonna link the YouTube of the developer so you can check out more infos on the development of the game and yeah that's gonna be it. So I hope you enjoyed this, check it out and I'm gonna see you later.